Hey, what's up, man? Good to see you. What's up with you? Not much, man. I'm just sitting here looking at your Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> like this one. Hey, gonna make me get back in the gym. Jim wanna flex on them folks. You know you gotta show the progress, right? <laughs> show my progress. Hey, I, I know a lot of people out there will hope you would stop progressing. That's the offensive lineman, man, because you, <laughs> you're on a tear. You watch it and you go, anytime it's one on one, it's just flat out unfair. Just playing ball. Let's go, come on. Ah, ah, ah. Come on. Anybody up there? Come on. English Bulldog. Good boy. Last year, my dad got it for me for a gift. What you scared of? I always had dog, but I always got rid of him fast. But I always kept telling my dad I wanted a bulldog, so his friend was breeding him, so he ended up surprising me with a little bulldog. Had him since a puppy. He's still a puppy. He's only nine months. He's getting big now. But can you imagine Donald on the inside with Brockers and Sue on the outside, and then they start moving shells around? The problems that that could cause for other teams, that might be how they can hide some of the weaknesses and deficiencies now on that second level. Yeah, the team that Coach McVay called me and was asking me about it and asked how I would feel about it. I said, hey, if he can come in and do what he's been doing and make him play, bring him in, Coach. We trying to win the Super Bowl. You got Brock on the other side. Let's go, up front, on three. One, two, three, up front. You got Sue and you got myself, and then I know they're going to bring some, some new good edge rushers in to help us too. So I'm excited to work with them, play with them. You know, build a brotherhood with them, so um, we're going to see. First and foremost, I was told that the Rams have set aside a budget for Aaron Donald. He's doing extension, he's a priority, and no player they bring in is going to do anything to upset that budget. So Aaron Donald, he is going to get that extension. I, I don't think about that at all. I just want to get what I, what I earn, you know, what I deserve. Hit and jar loose Aaron Donald. Now, I don't think about the dollar amount, you know, that's what I got my guys for to help me with that. So my main goal was to go out there, fly around, make plays, and that's what I'm gonna continue to do, you know, no matter what the situation is. So what was the when I was here, where's the old D line room at? That was that door right there, last one, right? That's Coach Dudes. The man with the plan, changing everything around. The man is right here. No, this I'm just the guy. Taking a for a tour, huh? Uh-huh. Trying to show I think the D line was the old D line room was right there. Where was the old D line meeting room before I got here? Wasn't it right here? I used to watch film, come in early. Coach Nooks would be in there. My D-line coach watching film. I'll break down film by myself right here. Take a nap right here before meetings, and then get the day started. I remember working and trying to get to where I'm at now. Crazy, man, time fly. After careful consideration, the winner of the 2013 Bronco Nagurski Trophy, Aaron Donald, Pittsburgh. All these trophies is in LA in my office. The Lombardi, Nerick, the Outland, and the Nagurski. This was the first one I won on my dad's birthday. This is that trophy I won on his birthday. I wanted to say happy birthday to my dad. Um, got, you, got your birthday gift. <laughs> I had an opportunity to leave early my junior year, but I didn't like the grade I got. At the time, my girlfriend was pregnant with my daughter, so I ain't had a lot on my mind, but I stayed. I want to be all American. And then came back working, was working with Wayne. Started breaking down film a lot more. I learned that from Coach Noakes, my D-line coach, when I was here my last two years. Just put a lot more time into it. Just with a lot more focus when I had my daughter. Just all that came out of it, and I just got addicted to working. <laughs> That's what all this. I just got addicted to it. Yeah, I mean, I heard about him because, just because he's a local guy, but um, I would say Aaron was overlooked, undersized, you know maybe didn't fit the, fit the mold of, of what teams were looking for in a three technique. And I think he had maybe three offers, including Akron and, and Toledo and then Pitt. You didn't expect him to come in here and make waves right away or have a lot of expectations on him right away. Uh, that changed rather quickly though once he got on campus because uh, he was three times the player that anyone pegged him to be. He's hit, he's gonna be sacked. And guess who is on the scene? The Outland, Lombardi, Nagurski, Bitmerick. What was the other one? He won them all, and he got the sack. We're talking Aaron Donald. I think Aaron has a unique passion and love for Pitt because we were that opportunity for him. 
he took that chance and has done more for Pitt than Pitt could ever do for him. I see it's not real. It's not real, it's fake. It's fake. It ain't real. We can't die with this. Well, I started working with um, Pootie about three weeks ago, and he put the knives in the, I'm like, oh, man, what you doing? He said, it ain't real. He started bending like me. I'm like, all right, we're making sure. But the knives are just to simulate, you know, somebody coming at you. Just help you react a little faster. Once you see something coming at you, you just, it's just a natural reaction. You can move a little faster, so it won't touch you. So I'm just something new I'm just working with this year that I've been liking so far. I'm just waiting to, you know, put the pads on it and get to working on somebody, so. What's up, man? Doing, oh, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. I love your work, man. I, I appreciate it. It's okay if I can take a picture with you. Yeah, come on. They got me when I was working out and I was breathing a little hard. I was like, come on, man. You look, I get some Gatorade real quick, but they just trying to get to where I'm at. You know, that's the, that's their dream. That's what they working on. They high school kids trying to get to college and, and pursue an NFL career. So um, anything I can do to try to, you know, push a kid or help a kid, if that's just a couple words, me saying something to them. Um, I'm for it. All right, thank you very much. Good luck, and I good, appreciate it. Keep on working. Keep on you already know. Want to be good? Want to be great? I stay with Dwayne Brown because I've been working with him since I was um, in my 12th grade year in high school, and, and, and it worked. For me to miss all the OTAs, miss all the camp, come in week two, play, and, and be in top shape how I was, and was no fatigue, and I was able to hold up through the whole season. And that's why I stay with that guy. It, it shows. Well, we're pay off. We all year round with this. I don't take no vacations. I do this all year round. All year round. I usually try and take a week to two weeks off. I go good for the first week, the second week. I got to be back in the weight room or doing something. I just feel like, you know, I'm falling behind. It ain't me just trying to, you know, sh show off for the camera. This is who I am. You know, this is, this is Aaron. I train him. Uh, when he calls me and says, hey, coach, can you help me out? But when I have an opportunity to work with him, um, he's absolutely in the one percentile. Um, he is a different individual. You know, I think, first of all, I think he epitomizes everything a kid from Pittsburgh is about. Hard work, blue collar, not having an ego. And I'm trying to train my young guys to act like them. Uh, and again, you know, this, this is a young man that's going to sign a $100 million contract plus here pretty soon. And again, he's the most humble guy in our building. I think he got it from his dad. Um, you know, they would wake up early in the morning and work out when he was a young kid. That was a religion for him. So Aaron didn't know anything but hard work. You watch any award ceremony, and there were several, his saying was always, hard work pays off. And that comes from his dad. He took everything he learned from that and put it to use, and there he is.
my dream, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it came a generation later, but it's here. I'm living my dream through Aaron. And the 2017 AP Defensive Player of the Year is... Aaron Donna. It's still um, surreal to me. Everybody around us makes a big deal out of it, but it still doesn't seem real. He's not famous to us. He's Aaron, you know? He's just who he is. It's surreal, it's still surreal, you know, um, to accomplish something like that, you know, with so many great players that, that won that trophy and, and definitely only in my fourth year, so um, it's a dream come true. I don't know, that's for, I don't know, I just got out there and play, that's for everybody else to say, you know. You know, there's always guys that you, you know, you watch and you be like, all right, he did this, I gotta, I gotta try to go out there and show out too, man. But that's for the fans and the people to say, you know, I'm just out there working, I'm gonna just play my game. Create some momentum, and then in the middle one, then we want you to be real rigid and fast. So create momentum, bam, now go. Yeah, that's a perfect rep. You came in a little bit, but that's a perfect rep. Really what's next and what we're looking for is world championships. That's why we're in this business. The first and foremost thing that we do when we wake up is how can we get better? Go home, get your mental state of mind right, go see your family. And then from that, we start to slowly progress back once we hit the February, the March standpoint, knowing that April, mid-April, we're back at it. We're once again, we're walking into a situation where we don't want them to come in to get in shape. We need you to have a foundation. Once we hit April 16th on that Monday, we're gonna expect you to be ready to go full speed. Say, hey, if he can come in and do what he been doing and make him play, bring him in, coach. We trying to win the Super Bowl. Look better stays. What better stays? What better stays, huh? Right back home, we're all started. Eh? Found a way. Yes, sir. I love you, brother. Love you too, love coach. You. Tell the world what you about. Tell the world what you about. Tell the world what you about. It's a high snap. It's a fumble on the hop. Dante Fowler picks it up at the 20. He will walk it in. A non-offensive <laughs> touchdown. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. I'm all right. Get your head up. His scary ass. I know, man. I've been riding in my own. I'm in with it right now. They need to stop until we tired. With me, go with me. See this, see this. Hold him up. Get the oh. I ain't get blocked. I need this guy. I need this breather. Hold the ball! There you go. Let's go, D! Let's go! James Washington in the Rams territory. Left side 35. He's fumbled. It was stripped. Corey Littleton picks it up. Big play, boys. Let's go. Big play. Big play. Back that ass up. Oh! I, I hate you. you. I hate you. Oh, 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 we got a street though. It's a hard mad game with two good mad players. <laughs> nah, but it's, it's two good news playing right now. <laughs> two good news, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the gun in the air. I don't know what news is. What's news? Huh? News. Like a new, new dude, a new, a new person to the game. Uh -huh. Call him a new. You ain't gonna pull me down. Oh, you ain't gonna pull me down. They must know I'm a grown ass man with two kids. When they stay tight, tight, he gonna try to stay tight. Is it beautiful? Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.
Look here for that money. Dance for that money. Clay, Clay, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> He's just mad. He's just, just mad, mad at yourself. You <laughs> don't love yourself. We can score right here. Yes, we can. Watch this. <laughs> Ah. It's your house. I'm gonna say, meet me on the south side. And let's pull up D. Yeah, that's good. Thank goodness you were there. Thank goodness. Oh, you, you were flaming. You were flaming. Huh? You were gonna flame him? Yeah, he pumped it. He stopped you from slamming him. He said, look at him. That's not a tackle. Oh, that's a tackle. Oh, that's a not this way. Not this way. Good luck, you man. You're a hell of a player, man. Glad we're out there You know, the tension you get. So when you get the one-on-one -on -one opportunities, you got to take advantage of it. You know, that's, that's when you got to eat. Eating alive, my goodness. You get tired of having two or three guys block you all the time, so you know you get that that, that time where you get that one on one. You, you, you got to win that. That's what they pay you for. That's what you're here for, and you got to show out. So when you're getting double teamed, you're getting triple teamed. Are you frustrated? <laughs> when it first happened to me, I was frustrated, but then I started taking it as a compliment. He can't handle the truth. I'll definitely be frustrated, but then you start trying to talk some trash, like, "Dang, man, you better do it quick." Y'all getting paid just like me. What's up? Let me get the one on ones. You know, you're trying to motivate them to be like, nah, I don't need to slide this time. Cut that ass up. You, know, you just gotta try to find a way. Cut this way. You know, they, they get attention to you, the guys around you gotta make the plays. We've been doing different things uh, and we've been taking advantage of it. Intercepted right on cue. This team is led by the defense. You're the leader of that defense. I, I think I've seen you be more vocal this year than I've ever seen. What brought that out of you? You know, this is year seven. You know, at times, you know, you lead by example. But at times, you just got to let your guys know. You know, you, you talk to them, trying to motivate them, let them know what we need to do. You typically ain't speaking that much, so when, when they hear you speak, they know it's real, and they're going to listen to it. Keep dominating. Let's go road to greatness. Let's go family on what? <laughs> you, you remind me a lot of, of myself. You're a much better player than I ever was. You're so cool and you're so calm, but when you get on that field, it's focus. Howie Long and I sit and we talk about you all the time. We watch you play, man, and we just marvel. From us old, beat up, retired guys, we give you all the credit and all the praise in the world, Aaron. I appreciate that. I mean, the world coming from a great like you. We play this game to, you know, leave a legacy behind like you did. And had an opportunity one day, had that jacket on as well. So, you know, it's definitely an honor hearing that from you. Dominate, be great. Come on. Go for For me, it's going to be Aaron Donald versus offensive line. I, I, I believe in these type of games, your brand name players have to play like brand names. The Rams defense, the only one all year to hold Russell Wilson without a touchdown. Run away. Huh? Run it back. Let's run it back. Let's play some ball. Let's play some ball. Let's play some ball. Huh? Big stage, big stage, big stage, big stage, big stage. Come on, come on, come on. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Look what you want it. Look what you want it. Look what you want it. Let's go, let's go. Hey, love you. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, man. Come on. What you work for? Go to work. Be great. Aaron has a chance today to earn his first full playoff sack. He has sacked Wilson 13 times in 14 career matchups, more than any other let's defender go, in the league. He's in trouble. He's wrapped up and sucked at the one by Aaron Donald. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. His first full playoff talk. sack against the man he sacks the most, Russell Wilson. Let's go. That good. Yeah. Yeah. What you going to do? I'm talking about he's going to do something. He's going to do Rams overload the right side, they rush from there. Pressure coming, it's Donald again with Morgan Fox. How about 80-99? If you don't vote that man do. defensive player of the year, you're doing it wrong. Oh, let's go! 
You ready, what? Get it. Get it. From his right, it's Leonard yes. Floyd. He's yes. going to have to eat it. Yes. Leonard Floyd. Over. Side, looking for Metcalf. Batted away no. by Jalen Ramsey. Oh, no. Absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get boy. They're on the ball. They're on the ball. Speeds Carson again. Runs into the hands of Aaron Donald, who holds on. It's Leonard Floyd. Got it. He's going to have to eat Kyle it. Ball. Leonard Floyd. I see you. We scored a touchdown. We're going to win. Ramsey ah. again throw the bubble. It picked. It picked. Darius Williams jumped it. Ah. And he's going to house it. A pick six. A defensive touchdown. And the Rams extend their lead. Oh, my God. Ah. Hey, big. Oh, play. Oh. Big. Good play. Green, do it again. Breed, I do it again. You, you had me on that last one. I got, I got my you know you did. Some strong ass triceps. Get your little strong ass out of here. You know that was a hole. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, boom. Oh, boom. Give me some love. Oh, that's big dog. And that's big dog. We will be like that. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! <laughs> 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 Hold that ball, three. That's the zone. See, I told you they didn't want to see us. That was all that dance they were doing last time. I'm not that, with all that there's a dead hollering last time though. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll show you. Turkey takeout's gonna be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, Morgan Fox with the clinching sack. 124 left. No timeouts remain. It's in their ass home. It's in their ass home. And that's all she wrote. Go on and take their head and start the combo. <laughs> LA will advance. 30 to 20. The Rams have snapped the Seahawks' 10-game post.